there is a lot happening at the moment in Durham City and across County Durham. Uh, already uh, last year we've uh, seen the completion of the Freeman's Reach development on this side of the river, which uh, seen new accommodation for the Passport Office uh, and for NSNI. Uh, that secured uh, more than a thousand jobs in the centre of Durham. Uh, now the uh, action has moved to the other side of the river uh, where we've uh, got the redevelopment of uh, the former Gates shopping centre uh, which I think was a bit tired and was reaching the end of its life. That's being redeveloped in an exciting development that will bring a new cinema, uh, new retail uh, to the centre of Durham and we've also got the former Passport Office sites uh, in Milburn Gate which will also be turned into uh, new offices once the current building is pulled down. Uh, the university obviously is also consulting uh, on uh, a range of uh, different initiatives that they're taking uh, as they look forward. We've also of course got uh, the uh, programme of events in Durham that, that expands year on year. So we've got all our festivals this year. We have Lumiere coming back at the end of the year. Uh, last time that attracted 200,000 people into Durham City. So there's a lot going on uh, in Durham City. We've got cranes on the skyline uh, and the key thing is it's going to bring jobs, it's going to boost the economy not just here in Durham City, but for the whole of the county. We've just um, republished a number of master plans for all of the towns, the main towns across County Durham. Uh, they will all go to discussion in local area action partnerships. Uh, quite a lot has been done but there's still more to do. So uh, just as an example, uh, in uh, Newton Aycliffe, the industrial estate now is now the largest in the northeast. And with developments at Forest Park, potentially we could have thousands more jobs. We've got exciting developments in Bishop Auckland uh, in terms of everything that's going on there around Auckland Castle, uh, around Kinron which comes back this year, uh, the new visitor building, so a lot happening there. We've got uh, developments in Barnard Castle uh, going on, we've got developments in Seam on the other side of the county with the marina, uh, with the new water activity centre due to open this year. Uh, we've got uh, the uh, extension of Dalton Park uh, in Merton close to Seam. Uh, we've got uh, things going on in, in in other towns right across County Durham. Uh, we've got uh, things that are maybe more local but matter to people just as much. So just to give you an example, in Chester Street uh, there's been an initiative to uh, help uh, shop fronts uh, and a number have been improved already and there'll be more improvements to come. And it's that sort of thing which improves our front streets, our high streets across County Durham, which is just as important as some of the big schemes uh, such as that behind me at the moment in Durham City. So all in all, it's uh, an exciting time for County Durham. There's an awful lot going on. Uh, we've got to do all we can all the time to uh, bring jobs into the county, to keep the jobs we've got, to boost our economy further. And as a county council, we'll be doing all that we can to do that.